All right, y'all, we're trying cultivated chicken meat. This comes from a cell. It's the first time outside of Singapore anyone's tried it. Aside from fossil fuels, livestock farming is one of the biggest emitters of greenhouse gas pollutions. A solution gaining popularity is cultivated meat, aka lab-grown meat, which is weird, but I tried it. Looks like chicken. Feels like chicken, and it tastes like chicken. We were invited to try cultivated chicken by a company called Good Meat. There are two things necessary to keep us from one and a half degrees. Transition very quickly away from fossil fuels, and we gotta move away from farming animals. Now, a big hurdle with cultivated meat is trying to convince the masses that it's a good alternative when it comes to taste, texture, and experience. Also, meat is one of those things that could be a cultural, geographical, or nutritional obstacle for some. It's not like chicken. I'm thinking of chicharron, but it doesn't really taste like chicharron. At the end of the day, this solution does address a topic that the COP agenda has briefly mentioned throughout the climate conference's history. According to an analysis by The Guardian, livestock has only been mentioned 3 out of the 26 Agreements. The first time that it's been served anywhere except our headquarters. Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about being the first to try it, but I'd say two of three presentations actually tasted and had the texture of chicken. Now, as we learn more about cultivated meat, developers are trying to answer questions like what's the carbon footprint, what the regulations are, and what cost and accessibility will look like. Overall, I think it was a fun experience and a nice dinner. It was good.